Net zero design is so important. And net zero means that buildings don't take any energy from the grid. Many of the buildings we're designing today give energy back to the grid. So they're net zero and net neutral to the environment. So during the building process, it's about the specifications that we use for green strategies, but then it's also about the very living of the building, the operating of a building. And it's those two factors that factor so strongly into the sustainable design. Strategies for reducing operating carbon include right sizing, significantly reducing operating energy per square foot, and increasing on-site renewable energy production. Strategies for reducing embodied carbon include selecting low and zero impact materials, reusing buildings instead of engaging in new construction, and offsetting impact through clean energy production. You know, Gensler touches over 1.25 billion square feet of buildings and spaces every year, more than any other design firm around the world. So we've launched the Gensler Cities Climate Challenge. We call it GC3, which is all about creating net zero buildings by 2030. We believe by 2030, all of our portfolio, all the design that we do in the world will be net zero. And that is really, really important because we are the largest design firm in the world. We have that great responsibility to create sustainable design. This is my 41st year at Gensler as the co-CEO of Gensler with Diane Hoskins. And I can tell you there's no more important issue today than climate change.